Okay, here's my simple solar charging setup for the winter. You can see the panel compared to my summer video is uh, sticking up much further in the air at a greater angle than before and that's because it's winter, it's the 20th of January, tomorrow's the inauguration, today's MLK day. But because it's still in the depths of winter, the sun doesn't get very high over the mountain here. In fact, that's about as high as it gets all day. Our house backs up to a small mountain west of Denver in the foothills. But same panel that I always use, I've got a couple others that I purchased surplus from uh, NREL back when they were called Siri in Golden, Colorado, very close to here. And I don't like to advertise particular product lines or anything like that, but this is stuff that served me well. It's very simple. I use this very old SunLogic controller. I'm thinking maybe I bought it 15 years ago, uh, hand manufactured by an amateur radio operator in the Midwest. I don't recall his call sign. But sometimes I don't even use that. Sometimes I just use a diode to keep the current from reversing when the panels are blocked by clouds or whatever. And this is a very inexpensive battery I purchased from Walmart. It's used for lawnmowers, uh, riding types, I'm sure. But it's served me well so far all winter. And uh, maybe when I get a little bit more money, I'll upgrade and get a Trojan or something like that. And then, of course, I'm using a shovel to prop the panel up further than I normally would because, again, the angle is so much different in the depths of winter. We're having a very nice day today is why I decided to video record this. But you can see there's still snow left on the ground from the last storm last week, and we'll have another storm in just a few days, I'm sure. And then I'm still um, happy with the Anderson power pole connectors, and I have a video talking about them a little bit, but they're very handy. Maybe not as rugged as they could be, especially for this kind of outdoor use, but serving me well. In the previous video I was using a lot of alligator clips and I still do that. Just depends on the mood I am or what battery I have to charge or if I have time to wire things up properly. Anyway, I've covered this positive terminal, terminal here with um, some kind of medical tape. I've got a big 100 amp fuse under there, but the main thing is I don't want it shorting out when I'm powering my amateur radio station. So plenty of charge today, plenty of sunlight, um, plenty of power to run my amateur radio station and associated equipment, maybe a small light, an electronic keyer for Morse code, all that stuff. This will run all week long after having charged it today like this. Very simple, inexpensive setup. And someday when I have a little more time and a little more money, I'll probably get a permanent tracking mount and get this panel further up in the air and more stable because the wind has knocked it down at times even though I've anchored it on occasion with clamps and those kinds of things. But you get the idea. This will work. This will power everything you need for a low power amateur radio station and for emergency communications and stuff like that.